So it's sage butter pork chops with roasted broccolini and citrus potato salad. Mm -hmm. Three things of sour cream, pork chop, I think there's two, sage, lemon, garlic, potatoes, and broccoli. So no broccolini, but broccoli. Mm. So 30 minutes, yeah. We'll see if it's gonna be 30 minutes. All right, you guys, so we are going to start off with the potatoes. Um, we, I've already preheated my oven to 400 degrees, put a pot on the stove for these potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and cube them up. Um, it said to peel them, but I just wanted to keep the skins on. Um, so I'm gonna cut them up and then I'm gonna stick them all into a pot of the water and bring to a boil and cover them back up. So I wanted to say that online, they completely changed up the way that you can read the menu online, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, they have better pictures, which I've always wanted them to do, so I'm glad that they did that. Anyway, so there we go, pot on, getting ready to boil. Next, we're gonna take the broccoli. Again, the recipe was broccolini, but they didn't have it, it was out of season, so they sent over broccoli. And I'm just gonna take these um, little florets and just kind of break some of them up to make them more bite size for my taste. So after all of this, we're gonna transfer all the broccoli onto a sheet pan, add a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper and just kind of toss it all up together and then we're gonna stick it into that 400 degree preheated oven. I really love this method of eating vegetables, roasting them in the oven. Um, it kind of gives it this really nice um, bold flavor. It's kind of, I don't know, I like the little burn crisp on the edges. It tastes so yummy. If you haven't roasted broccoli in the oven, definitely you should try it. So there we go, putting it in there for about seven minutes. And while those are in there um, cooking, we're going to take the garlic, cut one of them in half, and then go ahead and mince the other. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and prep everything else. So we're prepping, we're going to do what, the garlic, the sage, and everything. So the sage, we're gonna go ahead and take the sage out of the package. You don't really need all of the sage that comes in, but I did go ahead and um, chop everything up. So you're gonna have to pull off all the leaves and then take it and finely chop it. And it takes a little while to kind of chop it all together. And, and then I go ahead and put everything in a little bowl off to the side. I have to say HelloFresh has been pretty accurate on how to follow the recipes. Um, they do give you a little bit of extra of some of the ingredients so you can use them for future recipes. Um, okay, moving on. Let's move on to the lemon. We're gonna zest this one lemon all the way around. And then after we zest it, we're gonna move the zest off to the side and then we're gonna cut the lemon in half and put that off to the side or something a little bit later. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and take the pork chops. I just stuck them on a little paper plate put um, the halved garlic. We're gonna rub the garlic all over the pork chops on both sides, all around the edges. Make sure you don't miss any part of the pork chop. Add some salt and pepper to both sides and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna sear it in a pan on the stove. So add a little bit of olive oil um, so that it doesn't stick. Um, you're gonna see here that I kind of drop one of the pork chops in on accident. Um, and uh, yeah, you see, it got stuck. My bad. Anyway, so go ahead and put the pork chops into the pan and we're gonna put them in pan for about um, two to three minutes per side. Um, once it's done, of course, making sure to salt and pepper the opposite side of what you put into the pan. Flip it over, you're gonna see all nice brown bits and goodies. It looks so yummy already. And then, sorry about the ding. <laughs> and then after that, you're gonna go ahead and stick it into the oven with the broccoli for about another five minutes or so, just to cook through. And while that's cooking through, we're gonna go ahead and start making the sage butter sauce. All right, so we're gonna add the butter and the minced garlic to the pan, turn down the pan on a really low heat. Um, you could add a lot more butter. Um, I would have preferred, if I would have known a little bit better, to add more butter and maybe a little bit of oil to it to get more of a sauce. Um, so if you see anything here, that is one thing that I would recommend is to use a little bit more than what I did. Um, we're gonna add about two teaspoons of the uh, sage, 
because you don't need it all, and then squeeze all the lemon. I just left the seeds in there, I didn't really care. Um, but yeah, you can try to avoid putting the seeds in there if you would like. Um, then we're gonna take it off the heat. And um, on this recipe, it said to actually add the whole pieces of garlic, but I really love garlic, so I wanted to add every bit of garlic that I could. Um, we're gonna add some salt and pepper, and then again, leave it off to the side. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the potatoes. You drain them, and then right away, we're gonna go ahead and add the sour cream. There was three packs of sour cream in there, so we're gonna add all three packs of the sour cream, and then stir it up. Um, so it's gonna be the sour cream, the lemon zest, and some salt and pepper. And let me tell you, this potato salad was so delicious. I would have never thought to make anything like this and I'm really glad that I did because it was delicious. My kids loved it. Everybody loved the taste of it. Um, it definitely needs salt and pepper so you can kind of be a tad bit heavy-handed on the salt and pepper side and it makes it taste so yummy. All right next look how yummy and everything looks. We're gonna plate it all up now. I have to say, I'm again impressed with HelloFresh. Every time I make a meal and I plate it up and I look how, at how beautiful it is, I'm super impressed. All right, so we add the broccoli, the crispy broccoli, the hot citrus salad, potato salad. It is just so pretty on the plate. The pork chop, and then last what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that sage butter sauce and just top it over the top. Um, look at that. It looks so good and let me tell you everything on there tasted so yummy it was excellent um, I definitely recommend you check out HelloFresh if you're interested you don't have to go shopping for anything and it's all together right there for you to make it enjoy it and have a great meal with your family so if you want any information check out the link down below and I'll see you again in another one bye